the tonsils, your spleen, the thymus, your lymph nodes, bone marrow, your white blood cells, even your skin. What do all of those things have in common? Well, they all participate and have a role in your immune system. That's right. What is the immune system? It is sort of the organization of cells and organs and so many things that protects our body, that allows our body to be protected. So it's really important that we keep this immune system strong and healthy. But on the other side, it's important that we know what can weaken the immune system. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. I'm going to give you four categories of things that can weaken your immune system. And I'm going to start with the category of things that you can actually make a difference about. Meaning, many of these things in this category are up to you. So what's the first thing that can weaken your immune system? Number one would be not getting enough sleep may not sound that glamorous sleep, but oh, it is. Um, getting a good night's sleep and making sure that you're well rested really can impact your immune system negatively, certainly if you don't get enough sleep. The next thing is smoking. Mm, smoking really is not good for anything. Not good for your heart, not good for your lungs, not good for your immune system, okay? So make sure that you don't smoke, uh, don't start if you haven't, and work on quitting if you do smoke. The next thing is alcohol. alcohol Alcohol should only be consumed in moderation, guys. That's no more than two drinks uh, per day for men, no more than one drink per day for women. But I would say as a physician, the less probably the better, okay? Alcohol only in moderation because uh, it can absolutely negatively affect your immune system. Number four, poor nutrition. That's right. Think about it this way, right? A lot of the building blocks that your immune system needs to work properly and help fight off pathogens and sort of the bad guys, it's viruses, bacteria, etc. Um, it's going to find from nutrition. You're going to need healthy nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and so many other things to help your nutrition. So that means you need a nutritious diet, a well-rounded diet. That's going to be very important. By the way, guys, I have videos on um, uh, sleep, how much sleep you should get, um, how your body improves once you quit smoking, um, some uh, videos on, on proper diet. So I'm going to make sure I link them here, okay? I'll put them as cards, um, put them in the description. Just DM me if you don't see them. And the last thing, uh, the thing that you can affect that I wanted to mention is not getting your vaccines can actually cause your immune system to not be as strong as it could be. Remember, vaccines train your immune system to see something that could be potentially dangerous, a virus, a bacteria, or whatever, and trains your immune system so that when it sees that thing, it can fight against it and keep it away from you and keep you protected. So not getting vaccines does not necessarily benefit your immune system. In fact, uh, may make you and often makes us vulnerable to diseases and other things. Okay, so that's the category of things we can do something about. But there are categories of things that, that weaken our immune system that we may not have much control over. Next category is medications that we might have to be on. What meds uh, weaken the immune system? Well, um, cancer-fighting drugs. Um, steroids, okay? Also, other immunosuppressants. There are other medications that are immunosuppressants. Those are three no notorious categories of medications that weaken the immune system, okay? And oftentimes that is necessary for them to accomplish the goal that they are trying to accomplish, okay? Remember with everything, it is risk versus benefits. So sometimes it's going to be important for you to take these medications, which yes, might weaken your immune system, but for the greater good of say fighting cancer or fighting off some other other illness or disease, etc. Okay, so don't look upon these medications as being bad uh, necessarily. It's a matter of what's right for you based on what's going on with you. The third category is that there are some people who are simply born with a weakened immune system. There are rare diseases that um, really cause people to have weak immune systems. They have immunodeficiencies um, and things like that, and it can be very, very severe and very life-altering. So while not common, that does exist, and the the last uh, category um, are diseases and infections, okay? Believe it or not, getting certain diseases or infections can cause our immune system to be weakened. Let me give you an example. HIV AIDS is a condition that weakens our immune system, okay? Cancer, many cancers will weaken our immune system. In particular, one thing I'm thinking about is like blood cancer, right? 
Uh, that's one example. Um, also, getting uh, um, infections such as flu, mono, even measles, while the effects on the immune system might not be long-lived, thank goodness for that, having those infections can sort of, for us, period of time, weaken your immune system. It's one of the reasons why we don't want to get infections and disease because, you know, infections like this, because it can weaken our immune system. It's another reason why getting vaccinated, like what I was saying, getting your flu shot, your COVID vaccine, your RSV vaccine, if you qualify, your pneumonia vaccine, if you qualify, etc. Not only is it important to get those vaccines to make sure your immune system can tackle those viruses and bacteria, but also to keep those viruses, bacteria, etc. away from us, which in and of themselves, can weaken our immune system. You see how complicated but really important this is? Um, these are just, you know, these are a number of things that weaken our immune system. It's not the full list by any means. What's really important is that you follow your doctor's advice and try to live a holistically healthy life, okay? Healthy diet, exercise, maintain a healthy weight, don't smoke, don't, don't drink to excess, things like that. I want you to let me know what you do. Write in the comments what you do, what you don't do, what's helpful, etc. Um, please share this video also with other people that really really helps me a lot. I want to get the word out to people. Also on Facebook, please like and follow my page. On YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Uh, also, follow me on TikTok, on WhatsApp, and others, Instagram at Dr. Jen Caudle. And please go to my um, my website, drjencaudle.com, to sign up for my uh, weekly health newsletter. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.